Yulia. Today I'm giving you a walkthrough of the Hands-On Kids Activities Club. This is what it would look like for you inside of the members only area and our dashboard. When you first log in, this is what you would see. You can see all of the current themes that you have access to by month or by theme. And so you can click on any of the images here and it will take you to that area or you can click here to see the upcoming themes. So let's see what we have planned for the rest of this academic school year. We have community helpers that are released on August 5th, 2020. This gives you enough time to prep all of the materials from that time period so it will be ready to put on your shelves in September. The October materials are also released one month before then and so on. So you have plenty of time to prep everything to print, cut, laminate, all of those good things that you know we have to do. You have plenty of time to take care of it all. So intro to botany and plants will be released on September 5th. And we have transportation, geology, Antarctica, dinosaurs, Africa, ecology, and lastly invertebrates. And all of these will be mentioned in the in our Facebook community and we'll remind you of everything that's going to be in the club. Then you can browse by month. So if you're browsing by month, you can see that September is already available for members who are joining now, who are new. And that's the only month that you can click on and see those resources. These are the upcoming months for this school year. We can also go to themes using or months using the navigation bar here at the top. We'll click on themes and then you can see the themes. These will be released in 2020. You have community helpers, the current theme, botany, transportation, and all those goodies that I mentioned to you previously. And then these will be announced. So let's see what is in the community helpers theme. When we click on any month, this is for September or any future months, you will see several things. We have a table of contents and instructions, the current artist study for the month. There's support for this within our Facebook community for members. There's the book list and a supplementary materials list. So let's click on them and see. This is our September guide. We have a list of all of the resources included, the seasonal ones, as well as the thematic ones. We suggest printing these pages for your records so that you know exactly what you have. You don't need to buy it somewhere else. You don't need to keep looking. You have it. You know what, what you have in your records. These are the thematic units. You can see there is a lot. Some of these resources are just resources containing one activity and some contain more than one activity. We have a list of practical life activities for the theme and then we also have suggestions that are seasonal. We have finger plays and action rhymes and shelf maps. This is really important so you can have an idea of how to set up your shelves following the theme or the season to give you a better idea of how to prepare. And then these are the planning pages that can help you figure out exactly what you need to get done for your learning activities. This is our artist study. There's a hands-on tutorial within our Facebook group as well as images here that can share with you how to make that project book list. So you, every month there is a suggestion of lots of really inclusive, amazing books that match our theme. They are curated by our book expert, Miss Ashley Speed, and she is amazing at finding just the best books. So we are very grateful to have such a resource only for our members. And supplementary materials. Now, neither the books nor the supplementary materials are absolutely necessary to using the club or using the resources. However, we did have members requesting that they wanted to find some manipulatives to go along with each theme. And so we do that every month. We have a list of recommendation, recommended resources and hands-on manipulatives that you can buy to take your activities to a different level or add that component if you need it, if you want it.
Within our seasonal area, we follow the Northern Hemisphere seasons, and these are the resources that we have included for this month. These change every month, so you get something new. At the bottom of all of the sections of seasonal or uh, themed materials, we have this option to download the entire zip file. You can click on any image and it will take you directly to that activity, that printable, so you can just print from there or you can download everything and store it here for your records. If you ever have any questions about anything within the club, you can use this email address to get in touch with our team. So it'll be Catherine or I who will answer, it'll be Catherine or me who will answer your questions and we'll just get in touch with you. But it's easier for us to track hands-on kids activities club uh, questions when we are emailed here. Now we'll go to the theme. So these are our themed resources. You can see there's a lot. So we have some beautiful, beautiful resources with real images here from the lovely Catherine. And also we have this amazing Community Helpers preschool pack from Trillia Montessori. So let's just dive in straight away with the first one. There's such a variety here of different types of activities. We have sorting, uh, literacy activities, counting, number cards, scissor strips, everything is just ready to go. And this is a larger pack. There's 51 pages in here, so you have a lot of variety in the types of activities that are included with this just one file. So that's really cool. And actually one of the things I really loved in this um, set is these little little um, questions activities. The child can read the question. If they can't read it yet, then you can read it to them and then they can match it to the image, getting those logic and comprehension skills developed and practicing reading if your child is ready. Now, Catherine from I Believe in Montessori has amazing printables and you see they're editable. Plus, these are all real photographs and that's just amazing, right? We love real photographs in the Montessori world. You can see you can change all the text here. So here's my gibberish. And you can change any text that you need when you see that label of editable. So this is a wonderful sorting work. So you can see the beautiful um, images of the different tools of community helpers. We have Play-Doh mats because we know those fine motor skills are really important. Play-Doh is a great material um, for developing hand muscles. So we have fine motor, uh, fine motor mats, a firefighter bundle, another fire safety pack. Um, these are all different types of activities. So I'll show you this one. It's a bigger one too, 151 pages. Oops, that's pretty long, right? We have letter cards, writing practice, um, numbers, just everything, right? Everything is ready to go. You just need to pick and decide what you need to put on the shelves because we'd never recommend to print every single activity because that's a lot. We have beginning sound matching, shapes, activities, tense frames. These are really fun too because they have real images and you can use these for a child who is not quite there with a number quantity to have them match. Just put a material manipulative on top of each of the images in the tense frame or use the blank mats. So let's scroll down here real quick and then we can see there's blank mats and all you have to do is cut out these numbers and that you can child can select a number and then put a certain quantity of manipulatives onto these mats. So there's differentiated um, Wait, there's different ways to use some of the materials. You don't just have to select one. We have operations cards for older children, emergent readers with different ways to use them. So they can just read it, they can write the word, they can trace the word or use rainbow writing. And there is an editable version. Beginning sounds, counting, color matching, and these are really fun. These are gross motor cards, so the child can select a card and then hop at, or jump the way that is indicated on the cards. It's a very unique and fun way to do that activity. Again, the zip file, so saving you all that work of having to download each and every single file. You can just click one button, then you get everything. But, so we have something more than that. Can you believe it? There's so much in this space already. We do have bonus libraries. If you can click on the word bonus, it will take you to this page. 
10, these are the different libraries of resources that are included within your membership. So you get different challenges. This is the sewing challenge is one that has already taken place in the past and you get access to that just to watch the video and learn something new or you can follow along with the brand new art challenge that's coming in September. We have bonus libraries. You click on an image and of course it will take you to that new page. And then you can see these are the bonus materials. Dun, da, da. That is a lot of bonus materials. Then we have the months of the year bundle. So if you're in the southern hemisphere and the seasonal resources don't fit your needs, you can just go to this bonus area, take the monthly bundles and select the month that is or the, the month the the time that is more appropriate for you again these still follow like september would have autumn resources for the northern hemisphere but if you need um if you need winter or something different then you can just click on a different month and you have access to everything straight away we have a free webinar about how to rotate your materials so if you need a little bit of guidance or some support or want to refresh your memory on some subjects you can just watch this and it will help you get some clarity and maybe help you come up with some new ideas for storing and using your resources within the community this entire section all three of these are so relevant right now because of we all know COVID situation, but um, if you're an educator, you might want to look at the parent planning resources, see if there's something that would fit your needs, fit the needs of your parents for your school, or the hygiene and germs res resources. Of course, we're washing our hands. It might be fun to put on a germs unit and check out all of these goodies um, in the, this section. Or we have distance learning resources. Now we all know we don't want it, but probably uh, there's a chance that some schools will be forced to do distance learning again. And we don't want to leave you printing out everything for all of your students to take home. So we have created Boom uh, Learning App Games, and these are compatible with Seesaw, with Google Classroom, so you can assign them to your different uh, students. Or if you are a parent, you can just play these games with your kiddo for additional practice on a tablet or a computer screen. So they, if you click on them, it will take you to the Boom, um, to the Boom Learning App Games, and then you can redeem that game. So um, these, this is our library and you can see there's a variety. We have CVC words, we have sight words, sequencing, um, Montessori beads digitally, um, counting, some back to school numbers and multiplication shapes. Everything is sorted here by category and this is a growing library so that means if we create or when we do create more games that they will be added here and then you can also assign those games and just redeem them for your classroom. The, this first resource here is instructional video, an instructional video for how to use these resources if you need that. So you can also use this drop down navigation bar here at the top so you can see the resources that you have already within the bonus area. However, we also have more bonuses that are dripped out as you are a member in the club for a longer period of time. So we have just seen the Boom Learning app. This so far, everything is available straight away. These are the bonuses that are coming as the longer that you're a member, the more access you have. So we have the language printables library uh, with pink series resources and more literacy resources coming in September. We have scissor strips library, so you can use these for um, for scissor strips, but also with a sensor um, with a tracing salt tray or putting a manipulative on them. Play doh, just basic fine motor, making different types of lines with fine motor to strengthen those fine motor skills. We have an entire library of workshops that are really useful for learning and uh, refreshing your memory as a, a prepared prepared adult three-part cards library of course we all love three-part cards and these are, we always tend to add three-part cards to new themes however if you need something straight away then of course that's useful and our epic library of life cycles it just keeps growing and we have so many different animals so many different plants in there it's really useful that if you want to take a, a life cycle to cover a certain continent it's there if you need to cover something it's there so 
that is essentially everything that you get when you join straight away with the exception of one thing and that's this button here this is our exclusive members only facebook group and we really recommend that if you are joining us in the club you should join the facebook group because that really shares that community it's just so amazing i it makes me want to cry just thinking about the nearly I don't know seven we, we have over 750 members by this point and everyone is so supportive and encouraging and then we'll have questions in that Facebook group that are intended for Simi or Catherine and, or Ashley and I to answer but before we even see them already there's members pouring in their support helping each other out and pouring in their ideas how to just lift each other up and it's so so wonderful to see how kind and compassionate and helpful everyone is so we really encourage you to go there for that extra love extra support especially just given how chaotic some things might be right now with going back to school amidst um, a global pandemic so we really encourage you to get that extra support from the community there if you hover above the home button, you can see some useful resources too. Uh, the help page, if you're having some troubleshooting problems, you might want to look there before sending us an email because it might answer your question faster. So that is the rundown, the epic rundown of everything that is available in the Hands-On Kids Activities Club right now. Um, new themes are coming, we're working on creating everything as we go making sure that we are taking care of your needs so that you have those creative ideas at your fingertips you don't need to search you don't need to go on pinterest everything is right here you can just download it you can look you can see what you have there and we are here to make sure that you can just focus on learning focus on or focus on teaching so that your children and your students can learn and we will do all that research that putting together that scrambling those late nights of going down that Pinterest rabbit hole will do that for you so that you just you can focus on having time for your family so friends I really appreciate that you are here with me to walk through the hands-on kids activities club I hope that we will see you in the club in just um, between August 16th and August 20th that's when we're opening we'll be taking on new members for the last time this year and then um, we don't know we don't know when the next time will be it'll be sometime in 2021 that we will take on new members so if you want the extra support if you want that time saving access to all of the, the things you can need for these themes for the seasonal resources uh, for your special requests for distance learning we got you covered you can join and um, we'll help to support you make sure that your school year gets off to as uh, smooth a start as possible. See you there, friend.